Welcome back to Drive World, and today I wanted to show you some weird and cool stuff you can do with the peel. First off, if you hold backwards and turn, the car goes really fast when spinning for some reason. And this works for both of them actually as well. Another thing is if you max out the ride height and stiffness on the drag pal, it becomes undrivable. Like you can't even drive this around, it just wants to fall over. Some weird stuff with the drag pedal is if you switch it to stock gears and have it all normal and you drive backwards, the car is really weird. Another thing I found is going up to this wall and holding gas and turning and handbrake makes your car go way faster than it should be. So you could set some crazy numbers on this speed trap over here. Here if you look here there are some examples. So I got 638 and other people got like 834 on this speed trap. This car for some reason is really fast and it's able to get really good times on drag strip and I'll show you those but here is my tune first. And this is the suspension I use for it. And this is what this car can normally do an automatic and just driving forward. Which, that's an okay time, but you can get way faster. If you go into manual, you'll be able to get a faster time. But, this is even worse than another thing so when you start the drag you want to hold handbrake and then once it starts you want to shift straight up to third and then slowly shift up to sixth and then once you've used up all your boost you want to shift straight up to 10 and then you can let go of handbrake and you'll get a really good time There's just one example, uh, my first cry I was able to get 8.1, which with this uh, way of driving you might be able to get like 7.8 if you get a good enough run. This car is actually really good at doing wheelies, as you can see here, but it's with the tune that you give it, it's usually really inconsistent and it sometimes won't do the wheelie perfectly. but. Doing it right will be able to do a wheelie down the entire drag strip. Here is the current gear tuning I'm using for it. But if you use a 10 speed, I think if you have it just final drive all the way down and all the gears at stock gears, you should be able to pull a perfect wheelie. And this is the suspension I use for it. Here I got the perfect wheelie, as you can see. You can boost in it and anything and it'll just keep going. Here we are again.
There's still many more glitches that I haven't even shown in this video, so go and look for them. Go have fun with these cars while they're in the game, and may maybe they'll get nerfed, so it's better to be late than never.